Good afternoon everyone. This is Patty. Um, today we are going to make a lovely, lovely soap and it is called aloe vera soap. We're making it with aloe vera gel and also aloe vera powder. So it's like a, a double um, goodie. And i got to get this out of the refrigerator. My lie. Set everything in to be very cool. So, and this one is going to be an unscented aloe vera, and I already added a little bit of mica in there to give it the green color. And in this jug, we have the fragrance one, which we're going to do it with green tea from Nature's Garden. We're going to do the unscented one first. So I'm going to get my eyeballs on. And I'm just going to bring it up to uh, a very, very light trace. And then we will pour them into our five pound molds from Be Scented. All right. So. In here I have the aloe vera juice as my water and or I should say gel but it's 100% and also I have the powdered aloe vera and that is added to it and that's what you see the difference. Okay. Nice and cold. made this early this morning. I even put my oils after, or my butters and the hard oils after I melted them and mixed them. I put them also in the refrigerator just so that everything would stay at a cool temp. Oh, got you on the table. I'm trying to be careful, but you know how this crazy hillbilly gets. That's because of my <laughs> steric acid. It decides it just wants to see how it does a false trace when I use the steric acid. It's it kind of thick. So you just stir it out. <laughs> Good learning curve. See how thick it is? No, nope, it's not ready yet, guys. Um, using uh, cocoa butter and I think with the aloe vera juice and all the goodies in there. So, I'll put this to the side. A stir. And I think I am going to add a little bit more mica just so that it has a green tint and not just a tan tint. I think I'm going to 
just get my whisk out. This soap is going to be a very beautiful skin loving soap. And this came from Brambleberry. It's Kermit Green. And thank you, Miss Cindy. She sent it to me. And I'm finally getting to be able to use it. Let's get our big whisk out. And just stir it up. Because everything is so cold. Then I think I'll, as soon as I get it kind of loosened up here, then I'll put the blender back to it so that everything is green, all the greens mixed with it. The reason why I do the unscented first is so that I don't have to clean this off when I go to do the fragrance one. Well, we had beautiful weather yesterday, I should say, in the temperature-wise. It was very, very warm. Then all of a sudden, by the afternoon, and before Danny and I went to church, it was dropping temperature. We had to get jackets on. And Glenn was in North Dakota for a couple of days, and it had the uh, S stuff coming down. Loosened up. Give it just a little bit more. And then um, Michael causing havoc on the eastern, well, really, kind of all over, getting all them storms going, and then we even feel the effects up here. With lots and lots of rain, and then cold front moving in. It just wasn't very good. And Tim, remember, our beloved forever brother that was here visiting for a week, he, I don't know if he's still in Puerto Rico or not, but oh my goodness, I hope everybody is doing all right. And then we got loved ones, grandbabies and all in Florida. Mm. So they all said that they were okay sending a report over Facebook, but I hope everybody has a better day today. This is the unscented, beautiful, nourishing soap. Yeah. I think I got a 10% cocoa butter, maybe it's 15 I have too much lately. All right. Get every bit of that in there. Did a video um, making fire starters out of anything that would be really it was recyclable. Um, 
wax from uh, wax melts, candles, and even when we made candles, the snipping of the, the wick, we saved that. And scraps of blue jeans, paper, shredded paper. Keep hitting that. Being on the, I'll be glad when we get the camera going and on a tripod so I'm not banging you all around. All right. I think that's about all I'm going to get out of there. So, I hope this isn't going to be like a pea green, but it should, I think, liven up. Okay, let me bang this down. Soaking in my jammies. Well, they're not really jammies, just kind of warm. <laughs> Can't pop lounge right thing for hillbilly, huh? Okay, so anyway, lounging jammies or lounging clothes. Whatever. I think my daughter, she went through her stuff and gave this one to me, and I said, when it gets cold and I'm not going nowhere. And here I am soaking. Everybody's seeing me in them. Let me give this one more bang. I just want to make sure. Oh, little bubbles. Oops. I see some more guys. So excuse the noise. Okay. Enough. There it is. I'm not going to do nothing to the top. Just going to leave it like that. Beautiful soap. Unscented. I'll put it right there until I put it in the oven. And a little bit of raw soap right there. Okay, on to the next. This time, I love that green tea. Let's hope it stays pretty green. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to add it now. Let's add a little bit more to this since it has this one scented. Just add a little bit more. Hopefully it's a little bit darker and when I'm wrapping I won't get myself confused. Can't wait until this is aged so I can use it. I think it's like a 10 times um, strength concentration concentration concentrated concentrated strength I think it's 10 times so it is definitely an aloe vera soap With the steric acid, I know it's going to start thickening up at the bottom. Got the fragrance already in there. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we 
Rico. I wanted to add a little bit of um, honey powder to it, but I'll make another sip with that. In. Maybe some more oatmeal honey. Make some more um, beer soap and some wine soap since the weather is getting cooler. All right. I love saying all right all the time now. Chase, don't you dare say anything about going to be the all right lady. <laughs> I still think about us having fun with that. Get them. Okay. I'll be the okay lady. What you doing in there, Danny? He's got his earplugs on. Ignoring me. Okay. Here is our next mold. I think I'm going to use the stick blender on it. Okay. Sorry about the banging, guys. Alright. Stick that in the water. And let's pour. Oh, it smells so good. I hear you. I hear you. I can see that that try to separate. I will just mix it up in there. Yeah. You behave yourself. simple soap today. Ten pounds. Yeah. Wanted to make sure that I made this before the holidays. Let's do the pounding on the floor. This one is a little bit more loose, so I don't have to work. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Could make it so much noise. Okay. And there you have it, folks. All right, I'm going to clean up my mess and um, you guys will see the cutting. All right, stay out of trouble. Love you guys. Let's get ready to cut. This one is the unscented one. 
It's got a little bit of green tint to it, but as it dries, it will get a little bit more of a green hue. Nice and hard bar. Very nice and hard bar. Look at that. Good thing I ain't got no muscles, huh? Oh my goodness, you guys. That is pretty cool. Notice the end pieces. Nothing fancy, but luxury. And that's what the inside looks. Nothing on the top. But that is the unscented aloe vera. They're all the same, so I'm not going to show you. We'll just get to the cutting. Getting ready to go do our chores and our running around for Glenn. Do it with my elbow. And got to go to Wally World, which I'm on Fridays. Uh, Danny and I both don't like to. Right, Danny? He's not talking to me. He's trying to be shy, but there is nothing shy about that little boy, except for when the camera is rolling. All right. And this one, same, is the scented one. I love that green tea from Nature's Garden. Alright. Let's get these over here so I don't get them confused because they are so close in color. Well, you can tell by the fragrance, but sometimes you just don't want to have to deal with it, wondering what's what. So, these are all the same. And... I am going to say goodbye. I um, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay out of trouble and have a very, very blessed weekend. Can you say goodbye, Danny? No. Bye bye. <laughs>